Like, I'll... Let me run through this for you real quick, because this is actually part of what really got me into this originally, was like, uh, just how drastically different all the drive buttons are, so... Because otherwise it's just ABC, you know, like light, medium, heavy. Hey, SMT, Sweet TJ. I swear I'm not just doing the same thing over and over again. Alright, so here's one example. So, let's do, uh... Let's do someone really ridiculous. Well, actually, let's just do random. Actually, I don't know anything about Azrael, so... Let's go with, Ra let's go with Rachel, because she was one of the ones where I was like, Holy crap, that drive is nuts, and I want to find out what that's all about. So let's go look at that real quick. Alright, so... So, like, this is her light attack, this is medium, and this is heavy. Right? A, B, C. But her drive button... ...gives you control of the wind. So you can see, depending on how you use it, you can push people around the screen with it. Now, if you look at the bottom of the screen, right above her super meter, there's, like, this little rose petal bar. And that's how much wind meter she has. So later, you can do stuff like this, where you actually, like, there's these moves that go, like, this far. But if you combine that with her drive button, it'll actually propel her across the screen and extend out the hitboxes of all of her moves. Which is really freaking cool. And she can, like, use it to rush down, she can use it to, like, you know, do, like, fast falls and all sorts of other stuff. And it's all, like, built into this... Uh, drive property, which is her like ability to control wind. So like, I just threw down this projectile. I can actually use the wind to kind of push the other guy towards it, which is really cool. You know, that's pretty sweet. So that's Rachel. All right. So let's look at another one. Um, let's look at uh, who's another one that I can explain. Let's look at Hazama. So, Hazama is... Yeah, the drive button kind of does bring together their kits. So, Hazama, he's got the short range kind of thing. He's got some swaggy knife blades thing. He's kind of like an asshole gentleman. Okay, you know, he's got some, some little kicks. He's got a couple, like, fireball looking things. But his drive button is this giant chain, which lets him come in for this, like, crazy distance and then come in for all of his close range stuff. He can use it in the air. He can use it to, like zip himself around the screen and like it's all built into his combos and everything and that's his drive button which is wicked cool i mean who does stuff like that you know i mean come on now i can't remember any of his combos but he's got this cool freaking drive button it's awesome it gives him so much swag and he's got all these cool things that he can do with it which is just freaking sweet Alright, so like that's him. Let's look at another one. Uh, this is a new Blaze Blue. It just came out uh, a couple weeks ago, and then they just announced a brand new one today that will probably be coming out next year called like Final Fiction or something like that. I don't know. Alright, so let's look at. I don't know. Alright, so let's look at Carl Clover, because this one's like completely different. Right? <clears throat> so, Carl. Your drive button actually controls this second puppet that's on the screen. So, like, Carl is kind of lame. He's got, like, all these things under his things. But then he has this robot. When you press the drive button, the robot wakes up. When you let go of it, it goes back to sleep. But when it's awake, you can have it do all this stuff. Like, I don't know, walk up to the other guy and totally screw him up. You can give him, like, all these different commands so that your strings and stuff like get added on to the attacks and you can even do stuff like this where they got a block from like freaking both sides and stuff and it becomes really confusing and it's awesome because it's freaking the drive button isn't even like something that extends out his abilities it's something that makes his puppet go ape shit you can just hop in like in the middle of her combos and like get in here and start doing your own for the fun and profit all right, let's see what else is there. Um, what else is crazy? So, like, some of them are a little bit more traditional. We should look at Lychee, because hers is awesome. 
So Lychee has um, a staff. You can see, you know, she controls it with her like regular attacks and things, and she's got, you know, uh, these kind of nifty spear looking things. But her drive button lets her place the stick and start doing all sorts of crazy things with it. And then you can use the drive button to recall the stick with these like projectile based mix ups. Um, you can super from the stick, <laughs> from the Staff of Doom, and you can have it do attacks for you that will juggle the characters. And then when her stick is dropped, her whole moveset changes into like a more aggressive mix-up style, uh, where she has like Rekkas and things and all the rest of it. So like just that uh, by itself is pretty freaking sweet. And you can use the stick to your advantage in all sorts of different situations, or just play without it entirely. Which is pretty cool. Alright, let's go and check it out. The new version of Blaze Blue is 50 bucks on PS4. Um, you can pick up an ancient version of Blaze Blue for probably 15 bucks at this point. Um, let's see, what else is pretty cool? Um, let's do Bullet. I kind of want to learn Bullet anyway, because I want to believe that she got buffed in this version. But she probably hasn't. Bullet. Dust Loop. Alright, so Bullet. Um, she has... No, it's not on Steam, man. It's only on PlayStation. That's the uh, that's the only downside. So Bullet, first off, like so, she's kind of more like this rushdown, grapply kind of character. She's got you know these interesting like moves to her thing, but her drive button basically lets you like auto target the other dude and then rush him for mad damage. And it also builds up this meter that she's got of um, drive levels that increase her damage over time and allow her to keep like combos going longer than normal every time she lands a drive hit. So, pretty cool stuff. She can charge up her ability to make it do even more. And if I knew what some of her supers were, I would totally do them. See what some of the supers look like. Um, oh yeah, they're all freaking uh, all freaking grabs. Oh man, but she just sounds so good. Haha! <laughs> oh man, bullet so angry. guy under bullet, please. Okay, who's the guy under bullet? There's bullet. Oh, you want to see Ragna stuff. So Ragna is the box art character. Um, so there's actually old versions of this on Steam. Uh, SMT, Sweet DJ. Like, not the current ones, but there are older versions of Blaze Blue on PC that you can pick up on Steam. Alright, so Ragna's drive is his sword that turns it into this big, giant, uh, red thing. So what's cool about it is every time he hits somebody with his drive, uh, he regains a small amount of health. It's not as nearly as flashy or interesting as some of the other ones, but it is awesome. Not the most exciting of all of them, but still cool. TWK, what's up, man? 
How goes it, dude? <laughs> How am I not landing this? Okay, there we go. Alright, so let's see what else. Um, so one of my personal favorites is Hakuman. Uh, so Hakuman's drive is a shield that parries all sorts of stuff. He has multiple ones. There's one that parries low, one that parries mid and high. There's like a fast one, you know, he's got an air parry. And he's also got a whole different type of special meter um, that basically means that the longer you fight him, the more damaging stuff he can do to you, which is kind of awesome. But I really like Hakuman, he's a pretty fun dude. He's got some cool looking moves, you know? do a whole lot of cool stuff with Hakuna when you have all of his meter. <laughs> if trucks had swords and high-low mix-ups. Mm, that's right, Smash. Smash, I bemoan the fact that uh, you don't have a freaking... You don't have a PS4, man. Otherwise, I would make you play this and MKX with me right now. All right, so this guy has an incredibly big-ass sword. So you can see he swings it with the C button. When you press his drive, weird things happen. I actually have no idea how to play this character. Is his drive a parry? What the hell is this? Oh, D stance, that's what it is. All right, so it basically changes what his abilities are. So, like, you can cycle through this and then if you press D and then an attack, you'll get a different attack afterwards because it like activates his sword, or whatever, including stuff like that. Apparently, this guy is super damaging, um, and I have little to no idea how to use him because he's also a charge character, or at least he was, and he plays pretty differently from a lot of uh, a lot of other characters. Dude, I'm sorry, man. I picked it up on PS4 because I wanted not to have to load up my PS3. I'm sorry. The only PS4 blades I have is like... Uh, like Continuum Shift Old Chrono Phantasma, I guess. I think I have. I think. Crossover play? They might. If we could figure out how that works, that would be pretty awesome. Alright. Let's set up challenge mode. Like your character. Let's see. So there's Izayoi, which would be cool to play slash learn. I don't know, man. Always so hard to choose. I mean, I mained Hakuman for a long time, but 
would be kind of interesting to play somebody else. Coco Noe is supposed to be pretty awesome. Yes, Lighty is definitely single. Alright, let's see what this girl's all about. Oh yeah, she's got all these, like, magnet setup things. Who don't know about the magnet setups? I'm not really much of a set play kind of person. Oh, that's cool. You want to do, uh, you want to see uh, Arakune? Dude, Arakune, man. Please select. I checked out the second Encore content. I have not. I was playing in the beta for so long that nothing that's in second Encore wasn't in the beta, so like... I didn't really get that excited for it. Alright, so this is Arakune. He's uh, a crazy double blob of evil. Yep. Yeah. He uh, is master of all things evil and bugs. And since I don't like bugs, I uh, don't play Arakune. But his design is really freaking cool. I will say that. So his drive uh, shoots out different things that fill up his little Japanese looking meter down here. So every time it hits, this meter will go up. And once you get it to full, um, every attack you do sends frickin' bugs flying from outer space everywhere. Like a crazy, mashing, happy mix up of goodness and nonsense. Um, he's gone through like many different iterations of being overpowered and not powered enough. Um, I can't think of a character that was like more tweet than this guy over all of the Blaze Blue iterations. But he is super cool. Look at him, dude. He's got freaking bug power. 